let us discuss about uh, combo box j combo box this is one more component in uh, swings it allows the user to select an option from multiple options we can show multiple options out of multiple options you can user can select one option initially it uh, appears like this excuse me initially it appears like this okay when the user clicks upon that uh, arrow it displays like this then user will select one of the option so only one can be selected from the list and when you look at the constructors there is a constructor which accepts nothing so just like that we can create a combo box object but afterwards we will be adding the options otherwise you can provide the options in the form of an array to the constructor of j combo box however you want you can uh, create a j combo box object now when you look at methods we have to use add item method in order to add the item in the previous slide when you look at the first constructor it accepts nothing then when you create a combo box with nothing then how to add the items add item is the method to add the items into the combo box and then uh, remove item is used to remove the uh, item if you want you can remove all the items by using remove all items and you can set editable there's nothing but we can make a combo box as uneditable as well as editable by using the method set editable and of course the argument is matters here if it is true combo box is editable if it is false combo box is not editable then uh, there are uh, two methods uh, in order to register the combo box for events you can uh, there can be multiple events upon this combo box one is action event another one is uh, um, add item item event okay so one is add action listener for action listener action event another one is add item listener add item listener it is for item listener there is nothing but item event so item event and action event both can be performed on this combo box now when you look at one small example when you look at one small example so starting three lines are uh, importing the packages and then applet tag we know these things in applet tag there will be code attribute width and height attribute code will um, specify the name of the byte code of the applet so when you create a uh, class with the j combo box demo after the compilation it will create j combo box demo dot class we are using j combo box demo in uh, applet code is equals to there is nothing but we are specifying the name of the byte code of this class and then uh, when you look at uh, the class definition we are writing public class j combo box demo and afterwards extends j applet extends j applet and another point is it implements item listener so we are dealing with the item event in this example that's why there is a method item state changed it accepts item event and by using that item event object reference ie we are getting the item and that is converted into string and placed inside a string and then uh, we are uh, creating a image icon object in that image icon the name of the image is the item selected within the items what we are adding we are adding okay let let me come from uh, uh, combo box uh, now see uh, in this uh, program we have taken uh, uh, label image icons okay how many image icons 
one two three four image icons we have taken and we have went into init method and uh, in the init method we got the content pane of the j applet and stored inside a container object reference its name again content pane and we are setting the layout for the content pane that is flow layout and now we are creating an object for j combo box it constructor accepts nothing means no items afterwards we are going to add items what are those mic mic 1 mic 2 mic 3 um excuse me those are all um items those are all strings what i did is whatever item the user selects here that is the name of an image of course there should be an extension dot gif so i am getting s here in uh, item state chain that is nothing but s is nothing but the string what the user the item what the user has selected dot gf i am appending here dot gf i am appending here so what will happen so the option what the user is selected is nothing but an image name i am appending dot gf and i am making that one as an image icon and i am setting that one icon for our uh, label see here there is a label and for that label there is an image icon and initially it is mic.gif okay afterwards when the user selects some other option then the image icon changes that image icon changes based upon the value what the user has selected in the j combo box that is one small example about j combo box then uh, scroll pane this is one more component in uh, um, swings scroll pane. pane is nothing but it is an area in which it is an area like a container it holds some other components it's an area in which we can add some other components now what is this scroll panes a pane otherwise a panel with scroll bars there will be horizontal scroll bar as well as vertical scroll bar uh, sometimes the components what we are adding in a pane or in a panel um, those the components will be more the size of the panel will be less at the time we have to use scroll bars otherwise we cannot uh, display all the items um, in a small pane or panel that's why we can make use of j scroll pen so that's why if you look at this first, first point over here j scroll pen is used to make scrollable view of a component of a component in the sense first of all panel is one component if you want a scroll bar for the panel by the side of the panel then we can make use of scroll pen now within the scroll pane there will be a component for that component we we require a, a, we place a um, we place a horizontal as well as vertical scroll bars okay that is what in the second point it is selling like this when screen size is limited we can we use a scroll pane to display a large component or a component whose size can change dynamically sometimes uh, the components within the panel may increase dynamically so we require more size more space at the time we can make use of scroll pane which provides scroll bars so that a uh, user can see all the components within the panel okay now when you look at uh, the constructors first constructors accept nothing and second uh, constructor is accepting a component not only these two so many other uh, constructors are available but important are these two now uh, if you look at the first constructor it creates an empty j scroll pane where both the horizontal and vertical scroll bars appearing when required those will be appeared only when it is required that is one behavior of scroll bars another one so if you look at the second one creates a j scroll pane that displays a component within it it is a normal now the point this j scroll pane also shows horizontal and vertical bar only when its components contents are larger than the viewing area okay so that's nothing but here in the second constructor we are passing the component which is to be displayed within the scroll pane generally we add a panel okay let us see that one in the uh, form of an example 
now if you look at this example see this is uh, the uh, output of this program excuse me now here what we are doing is we are adding simply uh, what is um, buttons to a panel see uh, see the numbers upon the buttons 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 up to 20 are hidden Be uh, uh, if you want to see them you have to use the horizontal scroll bar similarly um, we will be uh, displaying uh, up to 400 uh, buttons so if you want to see all the 400 buttons then you have to use vertical scroll bar also see we got scroll bars by the side of our buttons how how do we get scroll bars let us look at this program uh, first two lines are uh, importing uh, AW, uh, awt package as well as swing package and uh, then uh, applet tag within the applet tag we are uh, writing uh, j scroll pen demo that is the name of the class so when you compile this program the um, java compiler will create uh, one more file with the name jo uh, name of the class that is nothing but j scroll pen demo dot class right now we are not specifying dot class extension in applet uh, uh, tags related code attribute okay then uh, when you look at the class definition we are defining a class with the name j scroll pen demo which extends j applet so what will happen j scroll pen demo this class will become an applet it can be executed in a applet viewer now uh, there is a, a init method we are overriding init method and we are getting the content pane of the applet and by using that content pane object reference here it is content pane we are setting the layout of the applet and then uh, in this example we are creating an object for j panel j panel panel is nothing but a small area is a it is a container panel is a container with no minimizing maximizing or uh, uh, closing options but it represents an area in which you can add some other components we are creating a j panel object and for that j panel object jp we are setting the layout as grid layout see so this is grid this is grid okay so grid layout uh, 20 rows and 20 columns that's why first uh, 0 to 19 buttons are displayed in one row okay so and we are exe we are uh, using two for loops and uh, each for loop uh, uh, will be executed for 20 times 20 into 20 40 uh, 400 um, sorry for this 400 buttons will be displayed how here we are creating an object for button new j button means object will be created and the value to be displayed upon button is b what is b b is a variable which is initialized to zero before the for loop and for every iteration of the for loop b value will be incremented so values from 1 to 400 0 to 400 uh, will be 0 to 399 will be displayed upon the buttons and button object is created immediately button object is added to jp what is jp if you look at here jp what is jp jp is a panel so to the panel button is added okay now what we are doing is we are creating an object for j scroll pane and we are passing jp what is jp again the panel so the panel which is added with uh, 400 buttons is uh, used as a component for j scroll pane and then v and as well as h what is v and h those are two integers so those two integers will tell how the scroll bars are required one tell about uh, vertical scroll bar another one will tell about horizontal scroll bar and within um, one class called scroll pane constants we have uh, two variables two constant variables vertic not only two so many other uh, variables are there those variables will tell uh, how the scroll bars are required here we are taking vertical scroll bar as needed horizontal scroll bar as needed means what if the content is more then the scroll bars will be displayed otherwise it won't be displayed like that it will be and then we are adding the scroll pane uh, with the border layout to the content pane of the applet okay and border layout is one more layout see uh, content pane uh, j applet content pane we are using border layout border layout in the sense in one border one component in another border another component in north border one component south border another component west uh, border another component east border another component 
okay if you take this one as one uh, uh, panel for that panel there will be um, north there will be south there will be east and there will be west okay no? so uh, in those uh, directions we can add uh, components this is a concept from awt the same thing here we are using but we are uh, placing the uh, uh, j scroll pane within the applet at the center of the applet at the center so we have four, four borders uh, along with center so at the center we are adding the j scroll pane. that's why uh, within the applet center we are getting the j scroll pane with the scroll bars j scroll pane with the scroll bars okay so here uh, we are using one more constructor of j scroll pane that nothing but it would it takes the component which is to be displayed in the scroll pane along with two integers those two integers will tell about how the scroll a uh, scroll uh, scroll bar should be displayed okay then uh, next component uh, in uh, swings is uh, tabbed pane so here we see tabs here we see a lot of uh, uh, tabs see there will be only one window there will be only one window and only one area in that area we can show multiple components multiple collection of components so this is one collection collection of buttons this is another collection collection of uh, uh, check boxes this is one more collection that nothing but it is a combo box okay now see in the same area we are displaying multiple collection of components how it is possible because of tab see here in this example we have taken three tabs what are those cities uh, flowers and colors when you click on cities cities related um, content will be displayed when you click on colors, colors will uh, related content uh, will be displayed. When you click on flowers, flowers related content will be displayed in the same place. So that is the use of tabbed pane. Okay, this kind of environment we see in uh, most of the applications in modern ray. Uh, one uh, example is we can tell our Google, sorry, Google Chrome. In Google Chrome, it is a web browser. Within the web browser, we see one website in one tab in and another website in another tab it is a similar concept okay now let us look at this uh, slide a component j tab pen is a component that lets the user switch between group of or collection of components by clicking on a tab with a given title or icon you can place an icon also in the place of uh, title title that nothing but cities colors flowers those are all titles okay there will be multiple tabs only one tab content will be displayed at once only cities in the first uh, screenshot only colors in the second screenshot i'm talking about example this one okay no? so only one tab can be displayed at once and um, you create a tab to be an object afterwards you have to add the tab to the tab to pen so add tab is the method add tab will accept first one string string is nothing but the text to be displayed upon the tab icon if you want to display an icon you can use an icon as well as the component component in the sense for suppose this one so this is this can be a panel uh, we can add a panel at once into the panel we will be adding all these buttons we create a panel into the panel we add all these buttons and that panel will be used as a component to be added as a tab to the j tabled pane so that is what uh, j tabled pane so let us look uh, one small uh, example okay so now in this example if you look at the first statement it is importing swing package and afterwards we are uh, writing applet tag and then uh, uh, we are writing like this public class j tabbed pane demo action j applet means what we are creating an applet and here we are uh, overriding init method of applet and then we are creating an object for j tabbed pane and its constructor is not accepting any argument you can get an object just like that and what we are doing we are calling add tab method and for the add tab method the first uh, argument is cities the string the string to be displayed as a title for the tab 
and then second one is we are creating second argument is we are creating an object here object new cities panel what is cities panel like let us look at uh, that class cities panel is a class it extends j panel means what it is a it is, cities panel is a panel because all the panel j panel attributes or features are present in cities panel or cities panel will become a panel now within this panel you we can add some uh, components so i am i am writing again cities panel what is this this is a constructor of cities panel class within the constructor of cities panel class we are creating objects for buttons by giving one title or, or a string upon the button and adding that so we are uh, uh, creating four buttons and adding four buttons to the panel if you write simply add of b1 so button b1 with the text in york will be added to the panel cities panel similarly we are taking colors panel by extending uh, uh, j panel uh, class and in the constructor of color colors panel we are creating three check boxes and adding three check boxes to the panel and third one flowers panel in the flowers panel we are creating j combo box and adding items like vanilla chocolate and strawberry and at the end we are adding the j combo box so we created three panels cities panel colors panel flowers panel and in cities panel there will be four buttons in colors panel there will be three check boxes in flowers panel there uh, there is a combo box with three items now what we are doing is we are uh, adding a tab to j tab pane with a title and uh, the component is the object of the subclass of panel j panel what is the subclass of uh, j panel cities panel colors panel flowers panel all these are subclasses all these are subclasses for j panel class okay those are all also, those are also components so we added the tabs at the end we are adding the j tab pane to the content pane there's nothing but to the applet then the output will look like this so um, this is the output of course uh, uh, these are the three screenshots um, of uh, applet which is executed by using applet viewer one uh, one screenshot when uh, cities is selected second screenshot when colors is selected third screenshot when the flowers is selected okay so that is about uh, j tabled pane